Yo, what's up guys? It's Jimmy or Jimzos here, and today I'll be explaining how to use my GrowFX mod and how to save maps and customize your maps. Um, if you don't know what this is, um, GrowFX is a mod that allows you to place models from the map and allows you to spawn uh, custom effects. Uh, as we can see here, this includes grass and trees and all these plants over here. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. First, you're gonna have to download Redacted. Uh, Redacted is an offline client for Black Ops 2, which supports modding and custom textures and all that kind of stuff. So you're gonna have to download that. You need to you need to have a legit copy of uh, Black Ops 2. Uh, just copy all the files from Black Ops 2 into a new folder called Redacted and download this and put all the files in there as well. And that's basically how you install that. Um, also, we're gonna need Notepad++. Uh, this is the text editor I'm working with, so you're gonna have to download that as well. Um, yeah, let's, let's let's jump right into it. Let's download the mod and uh, let's open it up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your Redacted library which is this one and you're gonna open the data folder uh, inside this one you're gonna open scripts and you're gonna drop these files in here uh, first you need to set the GSC file to what it's opened with uh, you're gonna right click properties and then just open with change that and it's gonna take some time to load this up I don't know why but just gonna press that and you just find Notepad++ Notepad++ plus plus and press OK and then press apply and then OK. So once you've done that you're gonna open this. Uh, you can ignore all of this for first and yeah we're gonna get right into this. Um, what you can see here is this is these are all the functions that are executed when the player spawns which is spawn model and play effects. Everything that has two slashes in front of them will not be executed. This means that only the spawn model function will be used. And that's what we're gonna be working with first. Um, yeah, uh, let's get right into this. Spawn model, we're gonna scroll down and you can see for each map, there's different kind of models. I already added some. Uh, let's take a look at raid. Uh, basically what you can do is you can go on this site and you can scroll down and on this section models for each map fastball can be found here. You're gonna click that and you're gonna pick your favorite map. Uh, so I'm going to raid. These are all the files that you can use, are all the models that you can use on the map raid. So we can see that there's, there's grass here, foliage grass, and there's a tree, and there's, there's more, there's raid bar, there is more foliage, in 3D text, there's a flag, all these, all these models, there's more foliage, can be used in this script. Uh, basically you could just, if, if the map is not already there, you can just add another case, or you can like copy this. We name this to MP Nuke Towner or something like that. I'm not gonna do that for now. We can we can add another model. Just make this 12, and scroll down. Let's add the umbrella. We can add it here. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's get right into Black Ops 2. Uh, so basically you're gonna save this and just start the match. So once you're in the game, uh, you're gonna have to know that there's two commands that you, two binds that you can use. Uh, the first one being uh, the aim button and the second one being the use button to spawn. And as you can see, uh, I just selected, and this is the oak. If you press the use button, you can see that it spawned the oak. 
if we start aiming more there's the grass there's a large pot of grass we can we can just spawn this around here let's let's make let's make this a nice nice pot of grass here I'm not gonna do everything because I want to wrap this video up real quick but uh, yeah this is basically how you spawn the models yeah this is, this is nice okay so now that we have that uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit out of the game and we are heading towards the data folder and it's important that you wait till the match is over so you're gonna wait till this screen pops up and then you're gonna open the games mp.log file uh, you're gonna scroll all the way down all the way down and what you see here these is this is basically a log of all the models that you've placed uh, you see that we placed the tree first and then we started with the grass and we're gonna use these functions but first we're going to scripts and we're gonna open play effects and yeah let's let's scroll down to what is it again raid raid right raid let's see raid I saw it okay here's raid basically what you do is you copy all this and you put everything in here um, the thing is, you're going to have to remove these timestamps. These timestamps will crash your game because they're not like recognized by the script. So before I'm pasting it, I'm going to make a new file and I'm pasting everything in here. I'm going to select everything, Control shift f go to mark, press the bookmark line, and in here just write the double point and it just mark all. Next you're going to the search, bookmark, remove bookmark lines, and that's basically, that's basically it. I'm going to copy all of this, I'm going to close this, and I'm going to paste everything in here. And this is basically, this is basically the script that places all these models for the map raid so first it goes into init and if the and it, and it starts recognizing the map and if it's dock site then go to cargo it's and carrier carrier can say cove all these these names uh, they direct to these short functions so now that we've placed them in here we're gonna save it and yeah let's let's start the game again so now that we're back in game, uh, we can head over to the place where we spawn everything. And as you can see, everything is still here. Uh, yeah. So that's basically how you spawn models and how you save the models to the map. So we're going to comment out the spawn model. We're going to uncomment the play effects. We're going to scroll all the way down. And we can go to play effects here. <laughs> 